Hi Pisces. Welcome to your mid-month April 2022 reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For all of you that are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, and share. That way you continue to get notifications of all the readings but I, that I post. Um, but I also can tune into your energy as I meditate and bring you more personal messages um, that Spirit sends me because I'm meditating and tuning into your energy. You'll know that it's resonating with you. For those of you that have inquired about a personal reading, my um, Etsy shop is up and running. I am offering them at this time. I'll leave the link below and it's also called Lotus 444 over on Etsy so you can check that out if you are interested. All right, this is Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, two came out. Okay. The power of purpose. This definitely has to be the month for this because at the end of the month, a lot of signs have gotten the power of purpose. That's a card of 18, which is nine, feeling the world. So it's almost like you're feeling, um, you're grounded, you're feeling good. You're, it's like you're feeling stability. All the feels of the world. Seeing the beauty. All right. For Pisces spirit, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Anything else? All right, so far the cards have wanted to come out in twos. Regeneration. A card of 46, which is 10, 5, 5. Time for a nap. You might be working too hard, spending too much time at work. Not enough balance between work life and home life. Regeneration is like, you know, it's regen you're regenerating and you're growing, but it, it's, it's almost like you need to rest and take care of yourself. Some of the general readings have come out about love. So we'll see what comes forward for you. Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mid month to end of April reading. Can we please have the energy that Pisces is in currently? The energy for Pisces currently. And again, two cards come out. Eight of Cups. Knight of Wands also came out. So it's almost like you might be leaving something. Walking away from something that feels like it's no, it's no longer for you. But it's like you have your eyes set on something. Something that causes you passion. It's going to leave you feeling abundant, this change. Happy, abundant, making big um, choices for yourself. Everything falling in place for you. It's like the single card, but it's like you're, resp you're responsible for all the abundance in your life. All the happiness. You're doing what you need to do to make yourself happy. And with feeling the world, I feel that. I feel like you're getting out there, you're doing things that ground you. Whether you're meditating... You're going for runs, going bike riding, going for walks. It's like you're doing you. I feel like this is a time of like doing you, making sure you get enough sleep, making sure you feel regenerated to make this passionate move towards something. What is the past energy? Thank you, Spirit. Six of Cups. Mm 
You might have you might have had a falling out with somebody from your past. Really close friend of yours. Not getting like relationship or lover or anything like that from the past. Not as of yet. Can we please have a card for the current situation? Thank you, Spirit. And can we please have a card for the future energy? Can we please have a card, Spirit, for the future energy? Thank you. The current situation, you are making a fast move towards something. And like I said, it's going to cause you that abundance. You might be walking away from a place of employment. Um, something that had you feeling stuck, you're walking away with, walking away from. You're walking away. But look what popped out. This belongs in this deck. Could be a sign. Could be somebody's coming to give you an offer. Younger water sign, maybe. But it's like you're walking away from the struggles. Something that you feel is like not for you anymore. Like no matter how much you put your effort into it, it just doesn't feel like you're accomplishing anything. And what you are moving towards, you're going to have a victory in. What should Pisces embrace from now until the end of the month? Let me get those cards that fell on the floor, guys. They didn't flip over, but it's the Knight of Coins and the Nine of Cups. There's a lot of Knights here. Page of Swords. A lot of people are here. The Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Knight, the Page of Swords, and also the Knight of Cups fell on the floor, but it, it didn't turn over, so we're not going to take it. It's This is what you need to embrace. You might have an idea to start something on the internet. You know, you might want to start your own YouTube channel, your own Etsy shop. There's something that you have passion for. Uh, maybe you, you do your own DIYs and you want to start selling them. Something that you have passion for that has to relate to the internet. You could be dating on the internet and you meet this person. Could be a person that you meet. You're walking away from something you're already with, going towards somebody that you might have met on the internet. But it could be an offer from somebody that has their eye on you on the internet, on your social media. What does Pisces need to let go? Oh, yeah. Look at how it fell out. Hermit in reverse. Let go of the stagnation. Let go of what's keeping you um, basically in hermit mood to yourself. It's great to search your soul and it's great to be careful at things that you go towards. Um, you know, sometimes it's good to be a hermit, be away from the energies of everybody. But Spirit's telling you it, it's not the time to be in hermit mood. There's action that needs to be taken here. And basically, they're saying, have faith. They got this. They're helping you along the way. What is the overall outcome to this reading for Pisces? Yeah, the overall outcome. Here it is. It's becoming unstuck. But it didn't flip over. The star. Wish fulfillment. Can you please have another card for the overall outcome? For Pisces. You're not going to see this coming. Something that wasn't ending. That you were closed off to. You took the time to heal. To figure out what you truly wanted. You had patience with it. I really feel like this is somebody that wants to return back to you. Somebody from the past that wants to return to you. That you had an ending with, obviously. I really do try to stay away from people from the past. But it's like people who let go of 
every, almost every sign. Let go of Libra, they're coming back in. Let go of Leo, they're coming back in. Let go of Sagittarius, they're coming back in. Pisces. And I feel like they're charging you. I think you are moving away from someone. And then there's somebody coming towards you. But it's going to have you feeling like it's a wish fulfillment. I just got um, the Eight of Cups and the Two of Cups. So you very well might be walking away from somebody that you're already in a relationship with. And there's somebody new that's coming in very rapidly. This person that's coming toward you, too, though, is very abundant. It's going to be stable. It's going to be long-term. <clears throat> Spirit, can you please clarify the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Cups? Yeah. You're manifesting someone else. You are you're, are walking away from something and you are manifesting a connection with someone else. Can you clarify the Six of Cups for Pisces in the past position? Thank you, Spirit. Oh. You had an ending with somebody from the past. Something ended. Can you please clarify the Knight of Swords of the Ten of Queens? Yeah, there's that brand new offer. It is going to be abundant. It's going to be stable. You can count on it. And look at what it's at the bottom here. The page of swords again. It's like, I feel like somebody that's watching you, somebody that you might have met on the internet, they're coming forward. They want to make an offer to you. Can you please clarify the page of swords? Or what Pisces need to embrace. Please clarify the page of swords for what Pisces need to embrace. They could have water in their chart and be at a distance from you. But they have true emotions for you. It could be a very light offer. Like, you know, you know, a text, an email asking you to like grab coffee or something with it being a page. It could be very like just very easy, breezy kind of um, communication to you. But it's like from afar, they have so many feelings for you. It could be somebody that, you know, is a lawyer, works in the court system, but it's going to be bring balance to your life. Please clarify the star and the sword. Yeah, you're not going to see this coming. They're coming in because they want to work on things with you. They're coming in because they want to give you that dedication. They see you. They see you as the person that they want to be with, that they want to grow with. Right, exactly. They want to support. Possibly could be taking a leap of faith because... There was an ending here, so they're pretty much like not sure how you're going to react. But it's going to feel like a wish fulfillment. All right, let's see. I feel like they see you shining. They see you move, like moving on, taking care of yourself. Remember the Nine of Pentacles was there and the Ten of Pentacles. They see you being abundant and doing things on your own. Succeeding as you are, you know. They're attracted to that. Spirit, please come to me. Give me an extra message. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For Pisces. Forty-five, Paris Spirit, watch your words. Watch how things come out. 
may our spirit tend to the small things. So with rest and time for a nap, it's like, you know, even though you got to lay low and take care of you, make sure you tend to the things like the everyday things like bills, you know, just the small things. Wash. Bills aren't really small, but the things that need to get done. message and then I'm going to pull an angel card for for communication to you one last message for Pisces Sun and Rising and Venus Archangel Ariel second chakra seeing all that glowing light you're going to at the end of the month you're going to be in a good spot the yin yang the person that's coming towards you is going to bring you complete balance. Two, two. These cards were coming out in twos. So pay attention to two, two, two. Um, and with this parrot here, pay attention to feathers in the near future. Spirit's communicating with you. All right. One last message from Spirit, from our angels and our spirit guides. This message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks, Spirit. Okay, this is the card. Compassion, dearest one, be compassionate towards yourself. Surrender the self criticism and fear that has you believing you need to improve in order to be worthy. You are perfect just the way you are. The only thing that needs to change is your perception. You will come to realize the jewel you are. When you love and honor yourself as you are. You are, you, you have this huge power of purpose to this universe. There's only one of you. Somebody sees you shining. Somebody wants to come toward you and make it work. I do definitely feel like it's somebody from the past that you had an ending with. You might have felt devastated by this ending. Now they want to come charging in. Okay, I will be back for many more readings. And like I said, if you are new, subscribe, like, and share. That way you continue to get all the notifications of the readings, okay? Love and light, guys. Stay safe.